Group Dynamics in the Boardroom by David Chaudron, PhD, of Organized Change. When looking at factors that can affect board performance, you can think of them in three different areas. First of all, external factors. Second of all, company factors. And third, the group dynamics of the board. These external factors can include political issues, economic issues, social and demographic issues, technological issues, competitive and disruptive business models, and lastly, the degree and pace of change. Company factors can include previous financial success, previous mergers and acquisitions, financial success, company systems, and culture. External factors and company-specific factors certainly can be affecting both company performance and the board. However, perhaps the most complex and difficult issue that has to be dealt with is the group dynamics inside the board itself. One way to be looking at group development and performance is to think about the external factors we discussed, that is the political, economic, social, and technological issues at the global, regional, and company-specific level, as well as the degree and pace of change, affect the four steps of group development. Forming, storming, norming, and performing. Forming, the first step, answers the question, who should be part of the group? This specifically involves membership, what qualifications are necessary to be in the group, and what previous relationships have existed among group members. In the storming and norming phase, we ask the question, how do we work together? Aspects include how much cohesion there needs to be in the group, what process there should be for decision making, how much power people on the board should have, what kind of roles and relationships people on the board should have, how should conflict and openness be handled, how much communication and the clarity of the communication, and lastly and not leastly, explicitly or otherwise, what measures of success should we have? In the performing stage, you're asking one question. What are you accomplishing? There are various positive factors that will be helping you improve your performance, such things as being open to new ideas, making sure there is active discussion, to make sure also that you encourage disagreement when appropriate, that you are focused on the long-term company success, that you work by consensus and have good follow through on the decisions that you have made. Negative factors that can affect board performance include authoritarian leaders with passive followers, politicking and dysfunctional work groups, routines that are blindly followed, a win-lose orientation, and social loafing, where some members of the board do most of the work and others do little or nothing. Other negative factors include the Abilene Paradox, where members think they agree but don't. Groupthink, where conflict avoidance and smooth appearance are more important than performance. And lastly, there can be a risky shift, where the group amplifies the willingness of an individual to take risks. You can also have the issue where pinches become crunches. Pinches are the natural and small disagreements what happen between people simply because we're people. In a group that has good group functioning, people talk about it, they reconcile and keep on working, but they resolve the pinches as soon as they occur. On the other hand, if you allow pinches to accumulate because discussion of them is avoided, they can become crunches, that is, major agreements and issues that occur in the group that really can stop it from working very well. Unless mediation occurs or some other major change happens, these pinches can happen again and again and again, and unfortunately, eventually stop the group from functioning. When conducting an outside assessment, there are two major factors. Objective factors such as governance, process and plans, and subjective factors which look at goals, concerns, and group dynamics using surveys and interviews. These two streams of data are combined into a report that are then fed back to the board 
where hopefully they will conduct action planning meetings and successfully deal with these issues. Group Dynamics in the Boardroom by David Chaudron, PhD of Organized Change.